Hello, design lovers. I'm Ashley Childers, and today I'm sharing my top 15 designer tips to instantly upgrade your home's curb appeal. Maximizing your home's curb appeal is not only a perfect way to add value to your home, but it's also a really great way to add timeless character to your home's exterior. I love that a home's curb appeal is like a smile and a handshake for first time visitors to your home, signaling the beautiful welcoming interiors that are to come. Y'all, each one of these curb appeal tips is so good. You're going to want to stick around for every one of them. I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button as we drop a new design video every week. So let's get right to our 15 tips for adding charming curb appeal to your home. Our first tip and the easiest one is to elevate your entry. Now this could include things like switching out old light fixtures that flank your entry door, maybe adding an overscale doormat, adding a wreath, potted plants on your porch or on your front steps, and even adding new house numbers if they're on your front porch. So any of these things can be done literally in a day or a weekend are super affordable and create a welcoming entry and add to your home's curb appeal. Number two on our list is to create a cohesive color and materials palette on your home's exterior. So we like to go for tonal exterior colors. And oftentimes we pull those colors from the natural materials that we use on a home's exterior. So an example of that would be, let's say stone. Maybe we use it on a home's entry gable and on a home's skirting. First of all, you're adding a beautiful natural material, but it's also giving you wonderful colors to pull from for accent colors. Maybe that's your windows or your shutters or your gutters, different things like that. We also like to make sure that we are repeating materials because that creates cohesiveness. So examples of that could be, like I said, making sure that you're using that natural stone in multiple places on your home's exterior, or it could be something like cedar, adding cedar shutters, maybe doing some cedar columns and even an arbor, or Maybe it's copper, you're using copper gutters and you're also adding copper lanterns and maybe even some copper numbers on your house. Just making sure that you're being really thoughtful and making a cohesive statement with your home's exterior. Number three on our list is to update your home's address numbers and your mailbox. Now, this is twofold, you could put your updated numbers on your mailbox. If you have a mailbox by the street, we oftentimes like to build those out of materials such as brick or stone. We think it just makes a beautiful, sophisticated statement. Or if you live in a home where your mailbox needs to be on your house, we love to use classic metal mailboxes on the front of the home and then accent the home's address numbers in the same material as the mailbox. Number four on our list is to soften your home's corners and skirting with landscaping. Now, we love to use the largest scale trees and shrubs that we can when we are doing a new build with new landscaping. First of all, it just sets the tone of the home and makes the home instantly feel more established. We also like to make sure that we're including evergreen shrubs and trees within the plantings that are around the home. This gives you year round color and just makes your home feel welcoming all year long. Tip number five is to add accent and landscape lighting. Okay, let's break this one down just a little bit. First of all, when we think about a home's curb appeal, most of the time we think about the way a home looks during the day, but the way your home looks at night is just as important. There's nothing more welcoming than coming home to a beautifully illuminated home in the evenings. So let's break this tip down. First of all, accent lighting can be the lanterns that flank your front door, maybe some beautiful accent lighting over, say, your garage, or even lighting that is on, say, a post or pillar. 
in your yard or at your entry. Secondly, landscape lighting. This comes in two different types. Pathway lighting that is more decorative, also functional, obviously, and then illumination for your home that is in your landscape. So we like to add wall washes to all the homes that we build. It makes such a beautiful statement at night. It washes the entire exterior elevation of the home in warm light and makes it so welcoming. Tip number six is to add interest with hardscapes and accents. So what I mean by this is using your home's exterior materials, say stone or brick, and repeating those materials on maybe the horizontal plane, like a pathway, steps, a patio, or a porch. You could also repeat these materials on entrance pillars or retaining wall if you have that, or even a mailbox, just creating more of a cohesive feel on the exterior of your home. Tip number seven for adding curb appeal to your home is to include lounge chairs, a swing, or a little garden bench on your front porch, patio, or even in your front yard. This is such a charming statement for the front of your home. Not only is it a great place to relax with your friends and family at the end of the day, it's also a great way to meet your neighbors. Tip number eight is to upgrade your front door. Now, this is such a wonderful way to add value to your home, to also play up your home's architecture and to add maybe a new material to the front elevation of your home like glass or stained wood. If these are not an option, you can always accent your front door with a fun pop of color. Tip number nine for increasing your home's curb appeal is to include architectural accents like shutters, pergolas, and arbors. So let's talk about this really quick. If you are adding shutters to your home's exterior, you've probably heard me say this before, make sure that your shutters equal half of the width of the window that they are flanking if you have two shutters on each side. Also adding things like hinges and shutter dogs to shutters make them so much more appealing and so much more full of character than just shutters that are stuck to your front of your house. If you're going to add something like an arbor, I love doing that over an accent window or over a garage door. It's a great place to add interest to your home and also a great place to add climbing vines like climbing roses, climbing hydrangeas, or even jasmine. Tip number 10 is to replace gutters and downspouts. So this tip is not only beautiful, it's also functional. We like to opt for six inch half round gutters and downspouts. They are so functional, they catch a ton more water and they look beautiful on your home. If you want a classic look, add something like leader heads. Those are the beautiful collection boxes that you see on the front of classic architectural homes. Also, you can use your gutters as an accent or you can opt to have them kind of fade into your home's exterior color palette. So you could do that by matching your gutters and downspouts to your home's soffit and fascia color, or if you want to use them as an accent in your architecture, you could match them to say your window color or even use copper. Tip number 11 is to choose flowering plants for your home's landscape that play up your exterior color palette. So an example of this would be if you have a darker colored home, maybe your home is stone or it's painted and it's darker, accent your landscape materials with light colored flowering plants like white azaleas or white hydrangeas or anything that's lighter and brighter for the landscape. On the other end of the spectrum, if your home is white or a light color palette, accent your landscape with pinks and purples or other colors, maybe you like yellow, but just add a pop of color in the landscape, it will add vibrancy against your white home.
Tip number 12 is to dress up your driveway and walkway with landscape lights, pavers, and pillars. Examples of this would be to add stone or brick edging to your walkways. Of course, charming landscape lighting on your walkways and up your driveway adds so much visual interest to your home and even accenting your home's architectural features with something like a stone or brick pillar by the street or at your entrance. Tip number 13 is to freshen up the paint on your home's siding, windows, doors, and trim. This is such an easy way to impact your home's curb appeal almost instantly, literally. What I want to suggest and encourage you to do is to opt for a color palette that's warm and welcoming. A lot of times I see people choose let's say a white paint color for their home that has a blue undertone. And when you see something like that in mass, it can feel cold. So always opt for tones that have a little bit of warmth in them and you are going to create a welcoming exterior and add to your home's curb appeal. Okay, y'all, tip number 14 is so easy that it almost seems like we shouldn't even have to mention it, but it's a really good tip clean your home's windows on the outside. So things like dirt and pollen and dust and debris, get on your windows throughout the year. We like to have our windows on the exterior of our home cleaned seasonally, and it just adds that little sparkle to our exterior and of course boosts our curb appeal. Tip number 15, and in my opinion, the most important tip of all, is to make sure that your home's exterior reflects your personal style, just like the interiors of your home. Your home above all else should welcome you with open arms at the end of every day and put a smile on your face. There you have it friends, my top 15 tips for adding charming curb appeal to your home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which tip was your favorite and if you have one that you're excited to try out for yourself. Now, if you love all things design, and I think you do, follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and check us out on Pinterest to get a little peek into our daily design adventures and become a part of our design loving community. Now, if you want more designer tips and tricks right now, you're going to want to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you. Have fun adding charming curb appeal to your home and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.